Hello, what's up? Welcome to the Hard Part Show. Today is a very important episode. Why? I thought I, I heard you say why. Well, first of all, it's my birthday. Happy you remembered. <laughs> Some of y'all like that's not the birthday song. And then two, this is episode twelve. We only got one more episode to go for the first season, y'all. I picked this question because, well, well, just just listen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sean, you tell us to go after our dreams, but isn't it easier for some people to do so? Some people are just privileged. How can a person like me become successful with limited resources? Okay, thank you for the question. Today we're addressing limitation. Yes, it's true. Some people have it easier than others, and some people always will. For example, I'm average height for a woman. I don't keep anything I need above the second shelf. All my cereal and canned goods are underneath. It goes pots, pans, spaghettios. Oh, y'all thought I was playing? My apartment wasn't built with me and mine. And maybe the world around you wasn't built with you in mind. But see, that's no reason for you not to succeed. It don't matter what the situation is. You can do it. It's gonna suck ass, but you can do it. And I think you might be missing uh, an opportunity here. Like right now, I can give you examples of people who have had it harder than you and still defied odds. Like off the top, off the top of my head. You know there is a supermodel with no legs? There's a famous pianist with no arms. Oh, and a guy who was hearing impaired just won Dancing with the Stars. Figure that shit out. No arms or legs. Next time you think your life is hard, just do this for no reason. I am not making fun of these people. I'm making points. You'll say things like, what's the use? You'll say, if I only had what they have. <laughs> well, you don't. You have what you have. Look at this. You ever bite a lemon? <sighs> this is so stupid. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. How can anyone ever taste this and think it should be anything else? And yet, it's hard to make almost any good meal without it. Whenever you find yourself in a limiting situation, there's an opportunity for invention. I don't know what your background is. My people have a history of making something from very little. For example, in my house, this was a flower pot. This was a belt. And this was a full bottle of ketchup. Oh, and don't let my sister just get her hair done and it's raining outside. Say what you want, this, but my finger waves will be intact. It ain't what you have. It's how you use what you have. This guy had a stuttering problem. And look who he became. This lady was told she didn't have a face for TV. And look who she became. Don't look at the bitter in your life as the full course. Look at it as an ingredient. Everything that's happening to you and around you is to be used for something great. No matter how bad the situation, everything is... I see what's going on. The world is a mess. If we all focus on our limits, we're screwed. But see, it takes a special person to take all the bitterness and turn it all around. Hey guys, thanks for watching the hard part. Like something you heard? Here's the easy part. Use our hashtag and share with someone you care about. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Visit thehardpartshow.com.